Hi guys, it's Angie with Fun Endeavors Tie-Dye Lab. Today I'm going to make a fall or autumn colored ice dyed spiral. I prep the shirt like normal and I have it turned inside out. This time I'm going to start the spiral down in the lower portion of the shirt. Once I have the shirt folded, I'm going to hold the folds in place with some rubber bands. So now that the weather has cooled off a little bit, I decided to try to incorporate a few more earth tones into my tie-dye. So I pulled these three colors, chartreuse, bronze, and midnight blue. Let's see how they look together. I'm going to ice dye the shirt, so I've placed it on a rack and I've made myself an ice barrier using my silicone cake molds. I have a link down below in the description for where I purchased the cake molds. Using a washable marker, I also divided my shirt into three sections, and each one of the lines I took into the middle of the spiral. That way all my colors are going to originate from the middle spiral. In the first section, I'm adding chartreuse from Dharma. The next section is Midnight Blue from Grateful Dyes. And I'm going to put bronze from Dharma Trading Company in the last section. Then I'm going to add a little bit of extra soda ash over the top of the dye just to make sure that when all the ice melts and runs through this shirt, 
I still have plenty of soda ash left in the shirt to react with the dye. And now I'm going to add on a layer of ice. I set the shirt aside and I allowed the ice to melt. And this is what it looked like after the ice melted on the front side of the shirt. As you can see, the colors have come through really well to the back side. I have a little bit of wash denim and blue linen, which are both dye spin colors that I had mixed up for another project. I'm gonna go ahead and put those on the back of the shirt. They're a little bit old though, so I'm not sure if they're really gonna make a huge difference. Then I set the shirt aside and I allowed it to process for about 24 to 48 hours. After the shirt processed, I rinsed the shirt like normal by rinsing it in cold water to rinse out the soda ash. Then I untied the shirt and gradually warmed the water up to hot and continued rinsing to rinse out any of the excess dye that didn't bond with the shirt. When the water was running almost clear, I put the shirt along with a little bit of Dharma's textile detergent into my washing machine and washed it using a hot water cycle. And after the shirt was washed and dried, this is what it looks like. Okay, so what do you guys think? I really like this color combination. It's been quite a while since I've ice dyed with chartreuse and I really like this color. For some reason, I kind of forget about it, and every time I use it, I think, why don't I use this color more? I like the way it splits. It's very varied in shade, with all the different intensities of yellow, darker yellow, lighter yellow. I just really like the color. I think it looks really cool. I also like bronze. Bronze is a great color for color splits, too. It has lots of variations of darker and light colors. It's very interesting. I think the three colors work really well together. And as far as the blue that I put on the back, it's kind of like I suspected. Those dyes had been sitting over there for a few weeks and so I didn't know whether or not they would still be real vibrant or not. Um, I can kind of see a little bit of it on there, you know, in bits and pieces, but it doesn't make a huge difference on the shirt, which is perfectly fine. I didn't really need another color on the back of the shirt. I just thought since I had it available, I would try it and see whether or not it was still, you know, good dye to use or whether it had gotten too old. In this case, I think it was probably too old. But overall, I really like the shirt. I think it's a really interesting color palette and I think it turned out to be a really pretty shirt. But what do you guys think? Drop me a comment down below and let me know. And I'd also appreciate it if you'd like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you have a great day.